The second element, between a psychotherapist and patient, typically requires that a communication be between a psychotherapist and his or her patient. There are three general types of psychotherapists. First, a psychotherapist may be any person authorized or reasonably believed by the patient to be authorized to practice medicine, such as a psychiatrist. Second, a psychotherapist may be a licensed or certified psychologist. Third, a psychotherapist may be a licensed clinical social worker. For each of these, the person must be engaging in the diagnosis or treatment of the patient's mental or emotional condition in order to be considered a psychotherapist. Thus, Patricia will be considered a psychotherapist if she is diagnosing or treating William's mental condition, and she is licensed to do so. A patient, on the other hand, is merely any person who consults, is examined, or is interviewed by a psychotherapist. For instance, William would be considered a patient of Patricia's. Communications with third persons who are participating in the diagnosis or treatment under the direction of the psychotherapist may also be protected. For instance, if William's father is directed to ask William how he is feeling each day, then William's confidential responses may be protected by the psychotherapist-patient privilege.